All right, welcome back. This is video number six. It's called You Get One URL. So that's the reality is with Instagram, you get one URL, meaning one place to add your blog, your website, or your offer. It's not like Facebook where you can create a post every single time and put a URL directly to your offer. You get one URL, so you gotta choose it wisely. So the question is, what URL should you use? So in this particular video, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna talk briefly about the concepts, the fundamentals, and then I'm going to go to Instagram.com and I'll show you uh, what we're looking at. All right, so with Instagram, like I said, you got to choose one spot wisely, right? Now, the secret here is because you're trying to build your brand and your lifestyle, the ideal place to direct them to is just your website, which could be your WordPress site. And then on your WordPress site, you have your blog, your website, and your offers all on that particular site. So the secret here is because you're building a brand, because you're building a lifestyle, what you want to do is you want to still brand yourself. You don't usually want to just uh, direct people to a sales page. People have taken the action to follow your profile, but they're still getting to know you, right? They're still trying to build that identity, build that relationship with you. So you still need to gain their trust. So here's a basic blueprint that you can follow, but from the Instagram profile, I recommend that you direct them to either a blog, your website, or an opt-in with free tips. So you're still trying to build their, their trust. There's still semi-cold traffic. If you send them to a blog with more content, more free information, then that's going to gain their trust. They're more likely to want more, right? Or if your brand, you can send them directly to your website and they can buy the products. But at the end of the day, you can use that. You can use an opt-in with free tips or a squeeze page to build your list first. Because what I found is that a lot of times it takes seven to 12 times to actually touch the person, get to know them before they actually buy. So what I mean by touching or touch points means emails. So it could be seven to 12 different emails after they sign up for a freebie and you can email them using an autoresponder like getresponse.com or aweber.com and just build that relationship through your email autoresponder system and then once you've built that relationship on a more personal deeper level then you can begin to sell things so we don't advise you to put a URL there where you're selling a product straight. You know, it's actually better if your that link is going to your blog or a, a content piece with tips, maybe tips on scuba diving, the top 10 things you shouldn't do as when a newbie scuba diver or the top 10 gears that I use. So if you think about that, you're telling them the gears that you use and maybe you link them to affiliate links like Amazon affiliate links. So you're indirectly making money by providing free content. So that's another method of indirect selling. Now make sure that you, when you do this, make sure that you follow FTC guidelines and make sure to be transparent with people that you are making money anytime they buy through your affiliate link. By doing this, your goal is to gain their trust and create a true fan that loves you so much they spend at least 10 to 15 minutes per day following you, seeing, you know, what's happening in your life, watching, you know, looking at the good times, the bad times, uh, basically the life of your brand. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I'm not a person? What if it's just a brand? Well, same thing. You can show uh, the lifestyle of the brand, what the brand is doing, what the brand is going to do, like upcoming sneak peek previews of what the brand is doing. Because Instagram, if you notice, is a lot about curiosity, a lot about uh, sneak peek previews. So that's the end goal. So what I want to do now is just hop on over to Instagram.com 
And let's talk about what we just talked about. All right, so Instagram is a mobile app, so I can't show you a ton, but I can show you at least a few things. But if you go to Instagram.com slash Instagram, you'll be able to find the search bar. If you go straight to Instagram.com, then you'll be met with a screen that says you'll need to download the app. But as you can see here, you get one URL and the one URL is going to be located basically at the top inside your description. So if you notice, if I take a look at some of these images, let's say this one, this one here, you'll see that it has a lot of text. You, you got hashtags, so you could use hashtags as a means to direct people to a certain place, but you can't really enter a URL in here. So that's why that one URL has to be used wisely. Now you can see, like I said, with Instagram, their profile, you can see that they're directing you to their blog. They're still trying to gain your trust, right? So they've not directed you to a certain product, but of course that's Instagram. So they could direct you to Instagram.com, but they, what, for whatever reason they chose to direct you to a blog. But let's go up the top here and let's type in scuba diving. And let's just choose this one here. So as you can see, this guy has 696 posts, 117,000 followers, and he is linking right here. So let's see what he's linking to. So scuba diving.com slash. So obviously this person doesn't own scuba diving.com. It's a photographer spotlight. So it looks like they're, they're linking here to show you that, Hey, I am really a scuba diver, but what she could be doing is if they wanted to monetize he or, or Beth Watson here, she could be directing people to a blog that showcases uh, scuba diving and all that. Now she's more into photography, so she's probably going to track people who are in photography. So it's not really going to be scuba diving equipment, but rather people are probably going to want to know, Hey, what camera are you using? What equipment are you using? Uh, what scuba diving equipment are you using and all that for the purposes of photography? So you see how in this example, it may not be necessarily she's selling scuba diving equipment, but rather than she's attracting a specific type of mindset. So you have to get an idea like who are you attracting? So in this case, scuba divers who love photography. This person obviously does not have a URL, so he's losing out on, you know, making income. And that's probably not the reason why he's on here. But as you can see here, uh, camping tent, 44,000 followers. He could be redirecting people to a blog. Or you could also do a Shopify store, but a blog would be better because then you're still ba basically building trust and uh, you can send them to, from the blog to a lead capture page where they can you know, get freebies and all that and build your list. So what I found over the years, as far as making money goes, building a list is key. If you don't have their name and their email address or just their email address, then you're going to lose them and they're going to forget about you and all that. So that's why having a URL is so crucial. But those are just some examples of what you can do. You don't have to follow this step by step, but if it makes sense for you just to put a Shopify store, just do a Shopify store. Uh, just don't think too much about it. But these are just some examples of what you can do with the one URL.